I know this sounds odd, but one of my favorite things to do with money is to project how much it'll be in the future because of compounding. I know that's a little nerdy, but whatever. Like I'm sure you've heard it said, that $20 you spend on pizza using student loans will cost you hundreds of dollars in the future. Well, that's not actually quite true. A $20 pizza paid for with student loans at about 7% over 10 years comes out to about $40 or double what it cost you originally. There are two really easy ways to calculate what something may cost in the future or how much you'll have in the future if you save and invest it and you don't need a fancy calculator or a spreadsheet and the first method you could actually do in your head. Hey, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, I'm Tim Fraticelli and on this channel, we love talking about personal finance, especially if you're a physical therapist, but you don't have to be a PT to enjoy these videos and I'd love for you to subscribe for more videos like this. So let's dive right into the first and easiest way to calculate the effects of compound interest and that's by using the rule of 72. It's called the rule of 72 because you simply divide 72 by whatever interest rate you're using, which gives you a really close estimate on the number of years that it will take for your money to double. Actually, let's look back at the pizza example. We bought the pizza for $20 and the interest rate on our student loan is 7%, for example. So take 72 and divide it by seven and you'll get just over 10 years until that original $20 will double because of the interest and the compounding effect. But what if you wanna see how much money you'll have in 20 or 30 years if you invest it and just let it grow? This is where you simply need a basic calculator like the one that you have on your phone. And the only thing that we need to know is how much interest we expect to earn on average each year. So if we expect the stock market, for example, to return an average of 8% annually, how much will $1,000 grow in the next 20 years? The quickest way to figure out the value of something in the future while taking into consideration the effects of compound interest is to simply add one to your interest rate. So 8% becomes 1.08 and you use that number to multiply by itself based on the number of years that you want to project out. So the value of your $1,000 investment at 8% in three years is simply 1.08 times 1.08 times 1.08, all multiplied by your $1,000 initial investment. So $1,000 invested over three years with an 8% return will end up at about $1,259 when you take into consideration compound interest over that period. Not bad. Let's say you want to see what that $1,000 will grow to in 20 years using the same interest rate of 8%. Simply take 1.08 times 1.08 20 times. So you can do that on your calculator by hitting 1.08 times 1.08, then enter, and then enter another 18 times because we've already factored in the first two years. We just need 20 years and that number that you end up with after hitting enter another 18 times will be 4.66. And that's the number that you use to multiply against your original $1,000. So $1,000 turns into $4,660 in 20 years if you earn an average of 8% a year. Now you can also take 1.08 and raise it to the 20th power. And you can do this on a simple calculator on your phone by turning it sideways and typing 1.08, the XY key, type 20, then hit enter and you'll get the same factor of 4.66. The XY key simply raises the 1.08 to whatever number that you want it to be raised to. And, and you can use that for 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, and you can change your interest rate very quickly uh, using this simple calculation. Now, why would anybody want to do this? What's the point of doing a quick calculation to figure out what the value of something is in 10, 20, or 30 years down the road? Well, for me, I think it's kind of fun because I'm a money nerd, but also it is motivating to see how much money, if you invest today, could grow into something significant in the future. Even if it's as little as $100, we know that it can be worth almost five times that in the future in 20 years based on our quick compound interest projection using an 8% return on your investment. So remember the rule of 72, which is 72 divided by your interest rate to see how long it will take for you to double your money and then use this quick compound interest method of one plus your interest rate multiplied by itself based on the number of years that you want to project out to, to in order to figure out how much your money could be worth in the future based on your estimated interest rate. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it to be helpful, I'd love for you to give it a like below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel because we give out new videos like this each week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.